Hello everyone and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we're going to cover the intuition behind lasso regression. And if you guys recall from previous lecture, we covered the idea or the theory behind um, ridge regression. And you will find that lasso is actually very, very close to ridge. Let's take a look at it. So as you guys can see here, the idea of regularization is to try to change the slope of the line and make it a little bit more flat, okay? A little bit more horizontal so you will be able to generalize better so the model will try to avoid overfitting that's the overall idea so lasso regression is very similar to ridge regression it works by introducing a bias term but instead of squaring the slope the absolute value of the slope is added as a penalty term so as you guys can see here this is a least square which is trying to minimize the sum of squared residuals and then for lasso regression, we're going to minimize the sum of squared residuals, but we're going to add a penalizing term, which is alpha times the absolute of the slope. That's all what it is. So if you guys recall, if we go back to our ridge, this is ridge regression, was alpha times slope square. Here, we're going to have the absolute value, which is alpha times the absolute value of the slope. That's all what it is. And the idea is exactly the same. We're going to add the penalizing term to basically improve the generalization capability of the model. So, um, again, in lasso regression, we're going to have the same parameter, which is alpha parameter. And as this is very similar to ridge regression, as you increase the alpha term, as the line becomes more horizontal, and as you basically um, uh, reduce the sensitivity of the changes um, in the independent variable. Again, as alpha increases, the model becomes less sensitive to the variations of the independent variable, which is the number of years of experience. All right, so let's summarize. So as you guys can see here, this is my least square regression, minimum sum of square residuals. Ridge regression is minimum sum of square residual plus alpha times slope square. And lasso regression, we're gonna be minimum sum of square residuals plus alpha times the absolute of the slope. And as I mentioned, lasso regression helps reduce overfitting and is particularly useful mainly for feature selection. So one of the main kind of unique uh, elements about lasso regression as compared to ridge regression is that lasso regression can be used for feature selection, which means it can give me an insight of which independent variable is actually useless. Okay. However, ridge regression cannot directly tell me this. So why? Because ridge regression can reduce the slope close to zero but it's not exactly zero it actually can reduce it yes but not exactly however why because there is a squaring term that's all what it is however but for lasso regression it can reduce the slope to be exactly equal to zero and which means that i can directly eliminate some of the independent variables that are useless and that's kind of one key advantages of using lasso regression over ridge regression it can be used for feature selection and I can mainly use it to get rid of any parameters that are useless. I will only going to keep the parameters that are useful to me. All right. Okay. And that's all what I have for this lecture. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's, uh, let's recap. In this lecture, we have been able to cover the lasso regression, which is, again, regularization technique. It's pretty much work at the same as ridge regression. We're just going to add an, an additional penalizing term, which is alpha times the slope of the line, absolute of the slope. And that's all what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed it and see you guys in the next lecture.